Since the very beginning of this channel, I've reviewed a lot of used equipment, tech gear and camera gear as well. And in my videos, I always recommend purchasing used equipment. Here's why. Hi, my name is Jorge, welcome. In this channel, we merge creativity and productivity to try to live a more fulfilling life. In today's video, we'll talk about used camera equipment, the benefits of buying used gear, and how the camera stores in Japan changed my perspective as well. Let's get started. Used camera equipment and the used marketplace can have several benefits, but the most obvious benefit for some people out there is just the low price. But if you're genuinely interested in playing with different types of gear, different types of cameras and learning, then the price is just one of the many benefits of used camera equipment. And when it comes to used cameras and used camera stores, there is no place like Japan. Absolute heaven. But even stores like this will mean absolutely nothing to you unless you adjust your mindset. For some people out there, purchasing used equipment is not a choice. They may have limited resources or they may be flooded with responsibilities that does not allow them to always buy the latest and greatest camera that comes every year. And honestly, there's nothing wrong with that. That's the main reason why I decided to review the X100 in the first place, to show that you can get great results from used and low budget cameras. But for me, I realized that I had to let go of my ego when I realized that I needed to get rid of all my equipment in order to move to Japan. I didn't want to carry all of that with me. Thousands and thousands of dollars spent on this camera package. And for what? In fact, I made a video about downsizing your camera package. Link in the description below if you haven't watched it already. Before that, I used to buy new equipment and buying used camera gear was not even a thought. In part, it was because of I had, I guess, distrust of others. However, it was mainly just because of my ego and I had to let go of it. When dealing with the right conditions, used equipment can allow you to cycle through a lot more gear that you would normally be able to either afford or find, really important aspects of it. And this is a huge deal if you actually love photography, i.e. learn by doing, exploring, testing new gear and arriving at your own conclusions. That is the key. Watching a camera review is one thing and arriving at your own conclusions because you use that camera yourself is another. And make no mistake you will have a better chance of using current and older gear if one, it's more affordable, and two, it's easier to find. Which really brings me to my next point. Here in the north, the used market is not very constant. So you end up browsing and hunting for used gear on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or things like that. And you really are at the mercy of random encounters and random prices as well. However, while living in Japan, I quickly noticed the importance they put on the used market and the used camera stores. And let me tell you, it's really a wonderful thing. Being able to walk into places like this and browse cameras and film equipment that is hard to find or not being manufactured anymore is really, really cool. And it's never about spending just for the sake of spending. It's more about your experiences and your growth as a photographer. And as you browse these stores for hours, I might add, you start to really consider your place in photography and wonder, what do I want to achieve? What type of camera would I like to try? What can I learn from this? And this is where I realized that ego has no place in your decision making when it comes to gear. Used camera equipment is not for people that cannot afford new cameras or for people that just collect it and never actually use the cameras. This market exists for a reason to allow you to explore and to try different things at a lower cost. Think about it. How many local camera stores you have in your city? How many of those local camera stores sell used equipment? Gear that is there, available, and at a reasonable price. How many small local stores can guarantee that you will have a wide selection of used Leica cameras, for example? At a fair price. Fair price. And this is what I dislike the most about trying to find used camera equipment here in Canada. You really are at the mercy of random post, crazy prices and random availability. Because this is not common here. There's no competition like this. There's no 10 plus camera stores in every single city in this country. And most people don't take care of their gear well enough. So when you do find something, the conditions are a lot worse. Now, nobody has all the answers. I definitely do not. But if you buy new gear to only satisfy your ego and you think that use gear is for people with low resources, then perhaps reconsider. 
If you're always buying used equipment because all you care about is lowballing people with their price and not the opportunities and the lessons that used equipment can teach you, then perhaps reconsider. And to be clear, I did purchase my X100V brand new. So I'm not telling you to choose one over the other. All I'm trying to say is to keep your mind open to the possibilities out there. Consider what benefits used equipment can bring to your life. Finding equipment that is not made anymore and it's a legacy camera. Finding equipment that you want to use at a lower price and being more accessible because of that. Cycling through gear so you have more experience because you've used more cameras as well. And perhaps learning a thing or two that you can apply to your photography and your legacy. For me, as a very small creator and a very small YouTube channel, it was very obvious that used equipment is the best way that can bring value to other people, but to myself as well. I have learned a lot in the past couple months using and reviewing camera gear, and I'm really glad I did it. But I am curious to know, how do you feel about used equipment? Have you ever purchased a used camera or a used lens, or do you normally try to stay away from that? Leave a comment down below. That is it for today's video. If you found this video helpful or valuable, please like and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram right here. Thank you very much for watching, for giving me your time and your energy as well, and good luck with your creative process.